Let's go. Oh, oh, I raked yesterday afternoon. Oh, one side of my body is so sore. Come across. All right, so we got the regular warm up, and then we're gonna hit a one to minute of a chest of presses. We're gonna hit that windmill. Nice and parallel, drop those shoulders. Keep those legs as straight as you can. We do have more deadlifts today. So there's four blocks, I think. One, two, three, four blocks on the board, plus a core block to finish it up. And we're gonna go side to side. So how it's gonna work, we got two exercises. We're gonna go through them three times each, 30 seconds of work, 15, uh, 12 seconds rest in between. And then we're gonna have 20 seconds or so to get ready for that power move. Power move one minute, a little bit on the cardio side, get those feet right underneath, drop those shoulders, squat and squeeze. Oh, my glutes also hurt from yesterday. So as we go through those two exercises, three rounds, we're gonna start heavy and see how far we can get. If you need to decrease the size of your dumbbell as you go on, let's get ready for that walkout. We have a lot of walkouts today in the workout. So that first power move, we've done it before, is the five, 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 jack slams and burpees. I don't care which order you do them in. Just gonna jack that heart rate right on up. The other three power moves, find that plank, walk it back, are all walkouts in combination with something else. Get that jog. This is not the 80s. Did I not press play? You'd keep jogging. And jack it out. I did not hit play on the 80s. That's why it was still God knows what that crap was. All right. This is more like it. All right. So, we got those highs ones in three, two, let's go. All right, so we got block number one. We got some racked squat and bent over rows. Block number two, we have back flies and alternating side lunges using those uh, dumbbells. And we got bucket grips, knees down, heels up, drop those shoulders, open up the chest, brace the core. Block number three, we got deadlifts and bicep curls. Block number four, we got alternating reverse lunges, suitcase carry style, or if you want to front rack them, you go right ahead. And kickbacks. We got those steam rollers in three, two, nice and wide. And then on the core block, three exercises, three times through, we're gonna have one dumbbell. Three, two, we got some kicks. We got some crunches. We got a reverse crunch and those double crunches. I did not get heavier dumbbells yesterday. He was with me and we were on a time crunch because he had to get back to go to golf. Three, two, let's do those mummies. All right, so right after these, I think I have 15 seconds on the clock. Grab those dumbbells, get on the floor, get ready for those chest presses. We got three, we got two. Shake it on out, grab them. Now I have to sit down. 
down. Grab them, lay down. We got three. Set your spine on the floor. Two, let's go. So, I know we talk about it a lot, the size of your dumbbell. These should be challenging around halfway through. You should really feel your chest and your arms. And you can slow it down. Three, two, one. Three, two, one on the way up. Nice and slow and control. Nice big exhale as you come up. We're halfway there. Those dumbbells are over your boobs. You want to feel the chest. Press your spine on the floor. Oh, Olivia. All right, come on. We got seven more. Three, two, and recover. You got 30 seconds. We're going to start with those racked squats to bent over rows. So I'm going to have my 10s and my 15s available. So I'm going to start with my heavy ones for my racked squats. In my rows, I'm going to try to do them with my heavies for that first round. So, racked. They're not on you. Three, two, oh, one. Squat and squeeze. You got it. So no bands today, just heavier dumbbells. Because when I do my goblets, I only have 15 racked. Now I have two 15s. <sighs> Trying to get those hamstrings parallel to the floor, keeping that chest up nice and tall. Wiggle those toes. You got seven. Woo! Raise, exhale up two, and recover. You got 12 seconds to recover, and then we're gonna go to those bent over rows. I'm gonna keep my 15s for at least the first round. Two, let's hinge, let's row. So think about how your form is. You're hinged, nice flat back. You're gonna look at yourself, at yourself in your phone or your computer. You're gonna to go to the side and turn. Make sure those elbows are up. Those dumbbells are not in your armpits. They're in your, going into your pockets. You got four, two, breathe. You got 12. We're gonna go back to those rack squats. We're going in four. Rack, set your feet. Let's go. Ooh, you got three. You got two, breathe. All right, so still using my heavies, challenging those last couple of reps. Let's get ready for those bent over rows. In three, set, hinge, row. That's it, nice and flat, brace the core. You shouldn't have any back pain in a bent over row. seconds you should be able to get those 12 reps in oh and breathe all right last round if you can hang on to those heavies perfect if you got to drop down a couple pounds perfect rack them set those feet let's go So the more fatigued you get, your shoulders get a little wonky, your speed 
it's a little slower and that's okay. As long as your knees are not caving in. Three, two, breathe. Ooh. All right, last time with the bent over rows. Ooh, pick them up. Set your feet, drop your shoulders, hinge. Let's row. Halfway, holy Toledo. There's no rush. It's tiring. Three, two, breathe. Dumbbells down. You got 20 seconds. All right. First power move, 60 seconds. Five jacks. Five slams, five burpees. I don't care what order you do them in. Let's go. body is moving at a much faster pace than lifting those weights. 15. Three, two, and recover. You got 30 seconds. All right. Ooh -wee. Same thing, three rounds. We got back flies. We know those same position as those rows. We're gonna hang on to those dumbbells and we're gonna do alternating, alternating side lunge. Get them. Back flies. I got my tens in three, two, let's go. So, really trying to think about those muscles that are working back there. Letting them lift and lower. Brace your core, big exhale up. Ten more. Two, and breathe. So I hang on to my tens, alternating side lunge. We're just gonna frame the shin, shoulders. Three, two, let's go. So make sure you're stepping wide enough so when you go down, that knee is over the foot. You don't want it in, you don't want it past your foot. Keep your chest nice and tall. Keep your feet parallel, both on the floor. Three, two, breathe. All right, so you see people are able to keep their arms a little bit more open and back flies. I cannot keep them straighter. Two, hinge, let's go. Maybe if I had your dumbbells. Again, they're at your boobs. Even when they're at the side, they're still at your boob height. Oh, these tens are mighty, mighty heavy. Three, two, breathe. Woo! Fix those shoulders, core. <laughs> Three, two, let's go. So really trying to sink low and press. 
Keeping your chest nice and tall. Your butt goes back. Still trying to get that hamstring parallel. Same thing in those squats, same concept. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Two, breathe. All right, I'm gonna suck it up and keep my tens for those back flies, but if I had my eights, I'd drop. Ah, three, let's go. So don't rush them. You need to take that little breather in between. You don't have to be in a 2-2 tempo. Brace your core. Put the weight in your heels. 10. Oh. Come on. Two. And breathe. Holy Toledo. All right. I'm gonna switch to my heavier ones for my last set of my lunges. Two, let's go. And then our next power move. This is where I'm gonna hit the walkout. We got a walkout. Burpee, no jump. Come down, push up, walk it back. You're not gonna get many reps in. Holy sugar and spice, my grip. Two, breathe. So here's what it looks like. Ooh, back of your mat. You're gonna walk it out. You're gonna pop, stand, down, push up toes or knees, walk it back. We got 60 seconds. In three, two, let's go. So either bending your knees for that walkout, or I jump in and have to or keep them straight. Get your plank before you pop those feet. Hands down, pop them back, push up. Come on. All right, so you got 25 seconds to go. When I speak exhale, when you pop those feet back, you gotta squeeze that core to find your plank. We got seven. Three, two, one. Recover, you got 30 seconds. Okay. Ooh. All right, so block number three. We got deadlifts. We've been doing them all week. I told you we were doing them all week. So get your heavies, start there. And then we got bicep curls, pick them up. Fix your feet, fix your shoulders. In three, two, let's go. So go as slow as you need to go to brace your core, stick your tailbone out. Three, two, breathe. Bicep curls for 30 seconds. I'm gonna try my tens, but it's not gonna be pretty. Three, two, shoulders, elbows in, let's go. Keep that chest open, tall spine, braced core, elbows in, halfway. Exhale up, you need it. Three, two, okay, those are horrible with tens for me. Seven, deadlifts, three, shoulders, 
Let's go. Is this song still on? For Christ's sakes, Debbie Gibson, get over it. Come on, you got 12 seconds. At least I think it's Debbie Gibson. Four, ooh, three, two. How's those grips doing? Mine are on the struggle bus. All right, curls. Whew, this is gonna suck. Drop those shoulders, elbows, and let's go. I always get envious when people can like pick up 15s and 20s, 30s, and do bicep curls. And there I go, comparing myself to other people. I try not to do that. It's all you can do is what you can do. Three, two, oh God. Five, deadlifts, pick them up, set, let's go. Last set. And this is totally offbeat training for us, but sometimes we really gotta slow it down. Three, two, breathe. My little fingers, I think it's from holding the rake yesterday. Pick them up, last curls. Three, two, let's go. <sighs> Try not to just let them go back down. I gotta fight. Whew. I'm fighting, all right, I'm sweating. I might have to open the sliding glass door. <laughs> but it's really heavy and that takes such an effort. Whew. You got three. Two, oh, thank God, done. Oh. All right, power move. Walk out, eight mountain climbers. You do your eight mountain climbers, however slow or fast. Whew. Set your feet, set your shoulders in three, two, let's go. Make sure those hands are underneath. All right, so mountain climbers. Make sure your plank is good, your butt is down. So each knee is one. Whew, halfway. Walkouts are good. You got core, you got legs, you got shoulders. Ooh, I feel on the core. You got three, you got two. Ooh, hallelujah. All right, 30 seconds. Last block of work. We're gonna go with our heavies. It's a suitcase carry, alternating reverse lunge to kickbacks. I'm definitely, definitely gonna get my fives handy for those kickbacks. All right, you're going in five. Pick your heavies up, alternating reverse. I can go this way. Two, drop those shoulders. Let's go. Nice 90 90. Every once in a while, roll those shoulders back down. They want to come forward. So if your grip strength is starting to go like, oh my God, like mine, you could always front rack them. Give your little knuckles, fingers a rest. Two, and recover. You got kickbacks. 
Set, shoulders, one hinge, one row, kick them back, let's go. So 90 to 180. There you go, you got 12 to go. Two, breathe. And those kickbacks, whatever size of dumbbell you're using, you could always change with that tempo within that 30 seconds, see how you're feeling. Lunges, I'm gonna rock, let's go. My little fingers can't hang anymore. Nice 90, 90, nice tall chest. Wiggle those toes on that front foot when you're down there. Pick up through that heel. Three, two, recover. Ooh. Three, kicks. Let's go, come on. All right, so we got triceps, we got curls, we got rows. We didn't do any shoulder presses today. Are you sad? Ooh. You want you want to feel something? If you're using your lights, you hold. You get up and hold. Press. Oh yeah, you'll feel them. You'll feel them. Three, two. Okay. All right, last round. Ooh. Pick them up. Suitcase or rack, let's go. All right, what's your core doing right now? So you should brace your core and exhale as you stand up. That's where you need it. Sometimes we do these, it's on autopilot for the legs and then everything else just goes. Two, breathe. All right, last kicks. Set, shoulders, hinge, row, let's go. And we have one more power move left. Tempo change, however you're feeling. You got a little fast in you, you got a little slow. Ooh, you got a little burn. Yeah, yeah. Five. Breathe. Holy Toledo. All right, last power move. It's a walkout six point. Touch, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, and then toe to toe. So almost getting into that downward dog or pipe position for those toes. Whew, drop them, let's go. So walk it down. You got shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, toe, plank, toe, plank, walk it back. Focus on that plank. Your feet might have to be a little wider apart so you're not shaking at the hips. Really brace that core. Always coming back to that plank. 25 seconds to go. Especially from that toe to plank, you really need that core to be activated. You got 12 seconds to go. Three, two, whoo, done. All right, now on to the core. Last little block of work. All right, 25 seconds of work, 
seven seconds of rest. Three exercises, gonna go through them three times. I'm gonna have my 10. This is what I'm gonna use and probably suffer. All right, so your first one is you're holding up tabletop and you're just crunching. Three, two, let's go. So you can come all the way down and all the way back up in that crunch, or you can keep it up. Don't let those shoulders hit the floor. And you're just doing those five, six vertebrae in the back. Three, two, recover. Next one, same position, but your butt is gonna go up in the air. Three, two, let's go. So now that your arms are there, your feet can't go past the line, right? Otherwise, you're gonna whack your, shin, your shins on the dumbbell. Two, breathe, breathe. All right, double crunches, we did them yesterday. We all love them so much. They're back. Hollow, hollow, let's go. Really, crunch. Up top. Woo. I was doing a sit up. I want to do a crunch. Oh. Three, two. Yep, there's that 10 pound kicking my ass. All right, tabletop crunch. Get her up. Let's go. One crunch, one breath at a time. Three, two, oh my God, that was horrible. All right, tabletop reverse crunch. Let's go. So you can get a little rock in there, but at the end of that rock, you want to see if you can touch your toes to the ceiling. You can always go down to that little leg, drive, bring it up. That's way harder. Two, breathe. Double crunch, hollow hold, let's go. Is your core on fire yet? Okay, okay, good. I didn't want to be the only one. I don't think my shoulders can do anymore. Three, two, okay, breathe. All right, last, last a little bit, less than 90 seconds worth of work. Tabletop crunch, let's go. God, it's not even Sunday. We got a little prayer going. Two, breathe. All right, reverse crunch, tabletop, set her up. Let's go. As long as you're with control on your up and down, you're fine. If you don't feel like you're doing anything in this movement, after, and you're watching TV, do them for like a minute or so. Two, and breathe with control and see how much that core is dying. Hollow hold, doubles, let's go. Last 25. Second. Okay, okay, okay. Oh God, sorry, I wasn't talking to you. Oh, that little double crunch at the end. Really? Three, two, holy Christmas tree. 
dumbbell down. Put those knees right into your chest. Okay, so now pull your knees in. Stretch out those glutes. Roll those ankles. Flex those feet. Come right on over to that tabletop. All fours. Do it a little cow. Your owl and cat. Exhale and inhale to both. On your next, ay ay ay. On your next cat, hold it. Tuck those toes. Come to downward dog. Press those heels into the floor. Tailbone to the ceiling. Put your ears behind, be in between those biceps. Walk it back. So no shoulder presses, but a whole lot of walkouts. Roll those shoulders back. So don't think that we ignored a body part today because we didn't. Yeah. Even holding that dumbbell up for those four minutes on the core work, a little rotational shift. A little quad stretch. Knees together, tuck those hips. There's that quad. And balance, other side, tuck those hips. Nice work, ladies. Drop, pull it over, tricep, elbow. Over, other side. Elbow, pat yourself on the back for showing up, putting the work in. Woo, woo.